Hello everyone, welcome back to this side of life. In today's fun video, I will be taking you with me on my cruise vacation to the Bahamas. I will also be sharing five reasons why you should go on a cruise. This is a four day cruise from Miami, Florida to Nassau, Bahamas on the Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas. We are going on this trip with a group of friends and we will be flying from Calgary to Dallas to Miami. Make sure to watch till the end to get all the five reasons why you should go on a cruise. Yeah, that's right, the weather. Yeah, we're going into the sunshine. As we say bye bye to the snow in Calgary and look forward to the sunshine, the first reason why you should go on a cruise is because of the value. A cruise vacation is good value for money. Here we are in Dallas. We really got a good deal on this vacation. It cost us $270 for the flight, that's US dollars, and $610 US dollars for the cruise itself for double occupancy. That means there will be two people in a room. So that means that is like $900 US for each person. That is very reasonable compared to any other vacation that you might go on. And now we are in Miami, Florida. So you can see our group is in all, we're all in orange <laughs> as we make our way to the ship terminal for the Royal Caribbean Freedom of the Seas. This brings me to the second reason why you should go on a cruise. This particular cruise was to celebrate a friend's birthday who was turning 60. And a cruise is really a great way to vacation with your friends or family members because, you know, you get to be together on the ship and you get to do so many group activities together and it doesn't cost a lot. So yeah, that is the second reason why you should go on a cruise. To have a great time with family or friends. 8246 so here we are on the ship and this is our hallway to our room and there's our room so we get into the room and it is a good sized room for two people and quite comfortable too we got a room with a balcony and so we can look outside um, while the ship is on the sea. Yeah, the room is well, quite spacious. And the good thing about cruise vacations is that it is all inclusive. You know, your food, entertainment, activities on the ship, everything is on the ship. The ship is almost like a city on its own where you can get to do all kinds of activities and you don't have to uh, pay extra if you don't want to. Of course, on the ship, there are also things that you can pay for if you want, like extra things, like maybe some kind of fine dining, some entertainment, and of course, the excursions that you go uh, when you go on land from the ship. But those things are not mandatory. You don't have to do them. So really, if you want, Everything that we paid, the 900 US dollars that we paid for each person is everything that you need. After finding our rooms, we all go up on the deck and it's sail away time. Sail away the seas. <laughs> yeah, it's sail away time. And you can see the sun. This was the sunrise on the next morning. And that's another thing. That's the third reason why you should go on a cruise. On a cruise, you get to see God's creation and nature in a way that you never get to see it while you are on land. So yeah, it was great to watch the sunset and the sunrise and to see God's marvelous works on the ocean. Like I said, there are many activities to do on the ship. There's something for everyone. A water park for the children, 
there's uh, all kinds of sporting activities you can watch a movie there's dining and a lot of fun sometimes during dinner and there is shopping if you want to buy jewelry you want to buy clothes you know there's shopping if you want to shop so and a cruise vacation is really a time to relax a cruise is very relaxing and it is one of those vacations where you can actually relax and put your feet up and just rest and that i would say is the fourth reason why you should go on a cruise vacation you are pretty much confined to the ship and there are no distractions just relaxing and then we got to our first port which was perfect day at coco k so early in the morning you could see people trooping out of the ship to go to this private island that belongs to royal caribbean so yeah, today is beach day, island day, and let's go. Welcome to Perfect Day at Coco K. Alright, thank you. Yeah man, we'll be getting three stops around this beautiful island. First stop is going to be three stops and one day at Coco Beach Club. For today, we had signed up for a jet ski excursion. You don't want to miss that. Coming up. We were told that the Oasis Lagoon is the biggest swimming pool in the Caribbean. Here we wait for our jet ski time while we watch the people going to another island to swim with the pigs. And then it was time for our jet ski adventure. I'll let you watch. Give me more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he enjoyed it, but that is the face of relief. I was glad that it was over. After that harrowing experience, it was time to eat. So one of the big things about a cruise is the food. There's so much food. This is uh, on the island. There's a lot of food and it's unlimited. You can eat as much as you want and it's all uh, included in your cruise fare. So here they have all kinds of food, tacos, sandwiches, hot dogs, chicken, you know, like just eat yourself out. Uh, like some people say that you could gain up to 10 pounds on one cruise. So if you're watching your weight, you need to be very careful. On the ship, during the dinners, you can actually order more than one uh, main course you can order more than one appetizer as much as you can eat and there's food all the time everywhere there's always food available so food is just everywhere and there's ice cream all day every day whenever you want it so yeah that is one thing about a cruise you can eat all kinds of things and just have to be very careful not to pile on the pounds after eating it was time to go and relax by the beach 
so this is where you have to remember to wear your sunscreen because you know swimming or just lounging in the sun even though we have dark skin we can get burnt I'm waiting for the tram take us back to the back to the ship and it was a great day on perfect day at Coco Cay. So we had some activities with the group that evening and that was the end of our second day. It's the third day and we are at Nassau, our second port and that's the Atlantis Hotel, the expensive hotel in Nassau, Bahamas. So we get off the ship. There were five ships docked at Nassau that day. Beautiful. As we set out to explore, I hear Nigerian music playing in one of the stores. We go and explore the town or the city of Nassau. This is the parliament building in the city center of Nassau. This is what the houses look like. The houses in the Bahamas. Too much close to what we have in Nigeria. After more sightseeing, we head back to the ship. We had a behind the scenes ship tour booked back on the ship. The population on the ship is 5,000. That's almost a small town population. We got to get a glimpse of how this small city on the ocean operates. We saw the kitchen, the pantry. We saw the all the food, where they kept all the food. We saw all the mounting of laundry that they have to do. The engine room, which is the brain of the ship. The bridge deck where the pie, uh, where the captain sits and controls the ship I sat on his chair and wore his hat and saw his view from that bridge deck then it was time to sail away from Nassau the ship also has a helipad for helicopters to land so that brings me to the number five reason to cruise you get to see multiple locations Back in the ship, at dinner, it was Caribbean night and also picture day for the group. And so, we came to the end of our stay of our cruise to Bahamas. It was sad to go, but see, the star of the seas is coming in 2025, so maybe we'll be on that one too. Until the next adventure, it was really a great time spent with family and friends and i would highly recommend it thank you helen for inviting us so let me know in the comment section below what you think about going on a cruise vacation and also don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know whenever i upload new videos until i come your way again until the next video you go out and make it the best days of your life. Bye.